Good evening. Today's lesson is learning how to apply the distributed property in combined like terms to right equivalent expressions. Let's take a look at something that we did in class today. We took 2 times the quantity x plus 3 and we broke that down into x plus 3 and x plus 3 because this says I have 2 of those quantities. Then we just combined our like terms. So I have x and x, which would give me two x's, and three and three, which would give me a positive six. And when we looked at that, we went, oh, well, I know I can take two times x and get two x, and two times three and get six. So let's think about a situation in which I bring candy canes to class and I only pass out candy canes to some of the students. So look at the kids who have the candy canes. The candy canes students are really happy because they got a candy cane. The students without a candy cane are very unhappy. It wasn't fair. So remember, when we distribute, we need to distribute to everything in the parentheses. Just like if I were to bring a snack, it would be fair for me to distribute it to everyone. Let's do some examples. This is 11 times the quantity x plus 7. So I need to take this 11 and multiply it by x, and so I get 11x. And then I take 11, and I also have to multiply it by 7, so I get 77. So my, exam my answer is 11x plus 77. For the next example, I have 8 times the quantity c minus 4. Well, same thing, 8's on the outside of the parentheses, which means we have to distribute. So 8 times c is 8c, and 8 times 4 is 32. And I have this subtraction sign here, so I need to subtract 8c minus 32. For our next example, I have three terms inside the parentheses. That does not change anything. All I have to do is multiply 3 times 4, and I get 12. And then 3 times r is plus 3r, because I have my plus sign. And I have 3 times 3, which is plus 9, because I have my plus sign. And then I take a look and I say, well, I have a 12 and I have a 9. I can combine those by using my commutative property and say that 3r plus 21. Another example, we have 2 times the quantity x plus 7. I'm going to take 2 and I'm going to distribute 2 times x. I'm going to get 2x. And I'm going to take 2 and multiply that by 7 and I'm going to get plus 14. And our last example, just using the distributive property, 3's on the outside, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times y is 3y, and I have this subtraction sign there, so it is 3x minus 3y. Now I'll take a moment, hit pause, and answer the on your own questions. Welcome back. Our next example is combining like terms. So let's look at our smiley faces. And we did this in class. We talked about balloons and weights and quarters and dimes. Well, now we're just gonna look at some smiley faces. I have one, two, three, four, five, six smiley faces here. And I have three smiley faces here. Combining like terms is just simply gathering like terms and adding their coefficients. So if I had six smiley faces here and three smiley faces here, I have a total of nine smiley faces. Now, what if I add something a little bit different into the mix? Once again, I have my six smiley faces. I have my three smiley faces. And I have two frowny faces. I can add my smiley faces because they are both smiley faces. So I know I have nine smiley faces, and I still have only two frowny faces. 
and that's all I can do with that. So let's look at an example that has some variables. Same idea as the smiley face or the quarter or the dime. We look for terms that have the same variable or same object. So if I'm looking here, I have my term 7w. And then if I were grouping it with like terms, I have my term 3w. So I have 7w's and 3w's. I have a total of 10w's. And then I still have my 11 and my 4. So I have 11 and then I have a minus 4 because there's a subtraction sign in front of the 4. So then what's 11 minus 4? That's 7. So my answer is 10w plus 7. Let's look at this one. Once again, look for our like terms. So I have 5x's and I have two x's. So I have five x and two x gives me seven x. And then I have a positive eight minus four gives me a positive four. When I do eight minus four, I get a positive four. And I can't do anything with this because it's kind of like my smiley face and my frown. I can't combine them because they're not the same thing. Looking at this, it says B, 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 B plus B plus B plus B. Well, I can remember what we talked about before with coefficients. If there's not a coefficient there, there really is a 1. Because remember, our multiplication property of 1 tells us that 1 times anything is just that number. So 1 times B is B, which is why I don't need to write the 1 there. But to help us, Let's pretend that this is one dime, this is one dime, this is one dime, and this is one dime. How many dimes do you have? Well, I have four dimes. Four B. And looking at this example, we have four X, and we have plus seven X, and plus X, which, remember, is just like a one X. So I have four x's, I have seven x's, that gives me 11, and 11 plus one gives me 12. So I have 12 x, and then my five, I have nothing that I can group it with, so I just write him down as plus five. Take a moment, hit pause, and answer the on your own questions under this example. Here we are to the tough ones. We need to follow the order of operations and then we can start combining like terms. The order of operations tells us to multiply first. So distributive property is a type of multiplication. So I need to take this two and I need to multiply it by what's inside here. But first off, I can't do anything with my 7z right now. So I'm just gonna copy him right there. I can't do anything with them. Now I'm going to take my 2 and multiply it by everything on the inside. So 2 times z is plus 2z. And then 2 times 5y is 10y. And this is the subtraction sign, so I have to put a subtraction sign in between those two. And then now I go and I say, okay, well what are my like terms? Well I have 7z and two z's, so I have a total of nine z's. And then I have a minus 10 y. I can't combine him with anything, so it's just minus 10 y. And we're done with that one. Our next one, we have two c plus three times the quantity f plus five c. So once again, we need to distribute our three first so I just drop my 2c down. I can't do anything with him quite yet. And so I have 3 times f is plus 3f. And then I have 3 times 5c is plus 15c. And this is a plus because this is a plus right there. And then I combine my like terms. Well, I have a positive 2c 
and I have plus 15C. So 2 plus 15 is 17C. And then my 3F is just a positive 3F, so I cannot combine him with anybody else. And our last example for our notes. This is a little bit out of order, but once again, we still look to multiply first. So here's my multiplication problem. I have some parentheses there. So I'm going to take and I'm going to do 3 times B, which is 3B, and 3 times 5, which is 15. Now, I don't multiply 3 by the B because he's not in parentheses. And I don't multiply 3 times 2 because he's not in parentheses either. So I really just have to copy down this plus B plus 2. There's nothing else I can do with them at that point. Now I look to combine my like terms. Well, remember, we have no coefficient here, but really, there's a 1. So I take my positive 3B plus my 1B. I have 3B and 1B gives me 4B. And then I have positive 15 and a positive 2. 15 plus 2 gives me a positive 17. Now take a moment, answer those last on your own questions, and then at the very bottom of your notes there's a spot for a question. What questions do you have for the video? Or ask a question that you want one of your peers to answer. Maybe something you know the answer to. Good luck and have a good night.